a good friend of ours, recurring guest, Tom Segura. He's got a book out. He wrote a book. I did. It is called I'd Like to Play Alone, Please. I told him right before this I bought the book. Thank you. Purchased it on Kindle, which means that I have – I'll probably read about 15 to 20 pages. Yeah. Because it will be like the right before I go to bed, I'll be like, oh, shit, I need something to read. And then be like, oh, I have Tom's book. But you don't care, right? Like, I don't care. I think actually if you actually read the first 10 to 15, I might – I might keep you to like thirty. Really? Well, yeah. I actually read the first five. Oh, you about did. Your dad. You did. Okay. Okay. Which so here's a little teaser for the book. Very yeah. funny story you tell about your dad. That your dad um, is I wouldn't say socially awkward, but he. You why don't you say it? like he just leaves conversations when he's done with straight. You. Well, he yeah he did. Uh, he he will just he would be talking to you right now, and if you brought up you know I don't know baseball or something, he would be like. And then he would just, and, and, and literally like, I've had so many friends go like, yo man, like you're, I was just talking to your dad and he just like walked away <laughs> and I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know. And then sometimes you'd, you, we would chastise him and be like, Hey man, um, you know, my friend was talking to you. It's not that cool. And he's like, what's that? And you're like, my friend who was talking to you kind of rude that you walked away. He'd be like, yeah, I was bored. And, just kinda, <laughs> and then he'd walk away from yeah. that. And would he do that to you too? Yeah, well, you know, he would just kind of, you could just tell he was um, not interested. He wouldn't be like, you know, somewhat do it to me, but more so like neighbors, friends, and, you know, people that you were trying to get to talk to him. I mean, just, just, he would just be like, and then I would ask him, I'd be like, why would you just do that? He goes, well, you know, if I'm not interested, I would, uh, I'm <laughs> it's, just not done being interested. And I'm like, kind of admirable right? yeah it's kind of like an efficient yeah. way to live where it's like hey i'm not gonna waste time yeah in conversations i don't want to be in yeah yeah he'll, he would literally just go oh, i was bored uh -huh. so i i walked away and you're like in the middle of the conversation like like literally talking you're like oh yeah you know we have the way that we talk to like each other's parents is a little different you know what i mean right like, so people like my friends would be like oh yeah mr segura you know i um I, uh, I saw in the news and he'd be like, mm hmm, yeah. And then, <laughs> and then just t turn and just walk yeah. away. And they were like, uh, sometimes they'd think they offended him. Uh -huh. I'm like, oh, you didn't offend him. You bored him. Yeah, that's he way worse. Yeah. I might be getting too deep with this already, but do you think, like, is there any chance that made you better as, as like, a, a communicator? Knowing that you had to keep your dad, it's like the world's toughest audience. Yeah, you're kind of right, right? I mean, they each, like, your parents each have a thing that, that, definitely gets to you and yeah i mean i would also you could just tell with him you know that that he was not interest when he wasn't interested um sometimes i'd be like i gotta tell you something and i would start telling him and he'd be like yeah yeah wow like that and i'm like hey man like i need you to like really pay attention here this is important <laughs> I'm telling then, you about uh, that I'm having kids. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, he, and then it would like, or if you said, I need your advice, that was somehow a different message to him. Mm -hmm. And he would like show up for that. Right? Oh, okay. Right? So he'd like, lock in. He'd lock in on, because, but you had to make it like, this is a request. Right. This is a special request. I need you. I need you. Yeah. Then it's different. Mm -hmm. But if it's just casual, the other thing he would do is, um, he would call, share a bunch of thoughts about, you know, you know, cancel culture, what I think, and like go on like a 10 minute thing and you go, okay, this is like an interesting conversation. I'll be like, well, you know, one of the things that I think he'd be like, all right, well, I love you, buddy. I'll go, hey man, like <laughs> you think I'm just recording the call or something? Like I, I thought this was going to be a back and forth. Uh -huh. He didn't really do that. He just know? wanted to get it off his chest. It was always, here are my thoughts. <laughs> and then at, after a while, you know, you obviously you kind of get used to it, but it'd still be frustrating. Right, you know? right.